you saw my video on my dust collection system, you know I have a two and a half car garage with no heating, no air conditioning, and no insulation. Today I'm going to show you how I installed an exhaust fan to move the air and take the dust out of the garage. Here are a few pictures of what I'm installing. It's an 18 inch iLiving brand exhaust fan with built in louvers. It only draws about eight tenths of an amp. I first thought that I would cut a square hole in my wall and mount the entire unit on the inside. You'll note that this is a firewall and that there's sheetrock on both sides of the wall. But when I put the fan into the cutout, I realized that the entire fan fit within, fit within the wall. That is, nothing protruded through the wall to the outside. I thought that this would make sealing the opening on the outside tricky. So then I thought I'd mount the whole thing from the outside and then realized I'd have to cut into the studs and I didn't want to do that. Finally, I decided to separate the motor and fan assembly from the louvers and mount the fan on the inside and the louvers on the outside. From the inside, I cut out the sheetrock that was attached to the outside of the wall to reveal the siding. A multi-tool came in really handy for this. I marked the center of the opening, drew a circle to represent what I'd have to cut out, and drilled a hole through to the outside. I'll be cutting out the circle from the outside. There's not enough room on the inside to maneuver the jigsaw. I made a simple compass specifically for this job. By the way, I'll put a link to a helpful video called Install an Exhaust Fan in the Shop by John Peters in the description. It helped me with some ideas about installing the fan. You can barely see the circle, but I used the compass to outline the, the cutout on the outside of the sheeting. Then I drilled four holes for the jigsaw. Here's a view of the cutout from the inside of the garage, centered nicely in the opening. Here's the view from the outside. Next I mounted the louvers by screwing the flange to the siding. The screws didn't go into the studs, but because I used eight number 10 screws with washers, and the siding is wood, and there really isn't any stress on the louvers, I thought the mounting like this would be fine. Here's what it looks like from the inside of the garage. Now I've got the fan mounted, and it's running via an extension cord just for testing. The screws holding the fan go right into the studs, and I notched out the sheetrock so the mounting brackets for the fan are right up against the studs, not the sheetrock. All right, let's talk about the electrical for a little bit. Here's the fan control I'm using. Note that the fan I bought is a variable speed model. Exhaust fans also come in single speed and three speed models. I ran a wire down the wall and installed a cut-in box. It's also called an old work box. The wire exits the top of the wall and goes to a receptacle where the fan will plug in. To finish up on the outside, I was going to add trim all around the louvers. So to do that, I had to cut a rabbit to fit over the flange. Here's what it looks like from the outside with the trim installed. Note the top cap. I painted all the trim before putting it up and caulked all the seams with the clear silicone. The fan is on. It has no trouble opening up the louvers. Now you can see the fan in relationship to the fan control. Next is a short video. You can see and hear the fan running. It's actually pretty quiet. <laughs> 